All right, this is another one. Just in, President Buhari personal assistant gives a stern warning to hashtag NSAS protesters in Lagos. All right, the news in detail. It's no news that the second phase of the NSAS protest has skyrocketed in some states like Oshun and Abuja in Nigeria. The protest loomed at the early half of the day at Abuja protesters were seen carrying various placards and in one accord. The major theme of the protest was to put an end to the police brutality and SARS. Remember, the protest started early October 2020. This bettered a lot of civil unrest as hoodlums hijacked the protest so to carry out their activities. Also recall that the president had addressed the major cause of the protest by scrapping the special anti-robbery squad of the Nigerian police. It is surprising to see the youth storm the streets across big cities in Nigeria again. This shows that their grievance is beyond the police brutality. This time the protest is aimed at bad govern government and insecurity which ravaged the country all right and it is gathered here that another wave of protest has started please use this opportunity to call the attention of government officials on nationwide insecurity and terrorism challenges hashtag asu hashtag december 7th hashtag protest hashtag channels tv government hashtag secure not hashtag lecky hashtag lecky Hashtag end SAS. Hashtag Buhari resign. That is what a lot of people have been hashtagging right now. Okay, and as it is, you can see the lot of you no know, policemen at Lekki Toll Gate and trying to prevent the protesters. All right, it was reported that some police officers can be spotted at the toll gate and its vicinity. And a lot of people have reacted to this and According to Ade Sokomi, they have said that police at Lekki Toll Gate waiting for protesters already. All right, and then there are police vehicles at the Lekki Toll Gate this morning, just past there. All right, so much police at Lekki Toll Gate now. Wow, so people can't even protest in peace. All right, and then someone has just tweeted also that every presence of police at the Lekki Toll Gate, government afraid of new. Hashtag NSAS movement. All right. And then President Mamadou Buhari, personal assistant, onto this one, namely Bashir Ahmed, took to his Twitter handle to address the issue at hand. He gave a stern warning to protesters about the new development in the state. The Lagos State Police Command has again warned against any gathering procession or protest in Lagos as some, uh, as some unpatriotic individuals and groups are planning to embark on the replica of the recent destructive and violent NSAS protest that left pains and agonies in the state, he wrote. All right, according to Bashir Ahmed, and he has been able to you know on his verified Twitter account right now at Bashir Ahmed saying that the Lagos State Police Command has again warned against any gathering procession of protests in Lagos as some unpatriotic individuals and groups are planning to embark on the replica of the recent destructive and violent NSAS protests that left pains and agonies in the state. All right, a lot of people have reacted to the to this, and at Juliane Doze has replied to at Bashir Hamed, saying it is the statutory duty of the police to stop such elements from perpetuating such violence, and in turn protect in turn protect the peaceful protesters. You can't deny this group disgruntled citizens the constitutional right 
to a peaceful protest just because you can perform your duty just because you can't perform your duty satisfactorily all right doze has said this once over on his twitter and okay and um as it is at king anad replying to at bashir ahmed he has said that they should just arrest anyone that comes out all right that's another person saying that all right and um, as it is a lot of you no know, comments keep coming in and uh, it is said here that in fact at kash kasham one five five seven two one three two replying to at bashir ahmed is saying that all these idiots talking about right to protest what about the right of millions of citizens that just want to go about their business peacefully are their own rights supposed to be suspended to allow a few disgruntled elements to block our roads and have a jamboree all right that has been said so far and a lot of people are still like wow what is actually going on in the country what what exactly do we want in this country what exactly is the government trying to do for us in this country and a lot of things have been you no know, said a lot of questions from nigerian citizens okay fine you asked these people to relax that something will be done for over how many months right now nothing has been done as part from you stopping the so-called sacks and even with that there's still a lot of insecurity in the country a lot of people right now will in fact a lot of people cannot even travel for christmas as it stands right now because on the road kidnapping everywhere in fact at any time right now people are rob people of their of their hard end you no know, money and all that but in a broad daylight as we speak i think the federal government should just try its best to do the right thing for the people so that all this stress will stop nobody wants a situation whereby you will not even be able to rest but now they are trying to fight this out so that nigeria Will be a better country to live in a majority are even fighting for the generation unborn because a lot of people have been like hmm, now that everything is like this how long are we going to be like this how long are we going to remain like this it's only god that will help us but meanwhile we still need to come out to do this same thing yet they are depriving people of their rights this is serious in fact i'll say this is unfair it's so unfair well that is it my people on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless